Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do my gummy bears. We're gonna do my gummy bears, bouncing here, bouncing there, bouncing everywhere. Where you bouncing? Where you bouncing to? Okay, so <clears throat> this is going to be the first two weeks of March. Okay, it is going to be raw love. And this is my gummy bears. <coughs> Hi, Spirit. Hi. Where are you going? You want to jump down? Come here. It's okay. Come here. Come on. Sorry, guys. My mom's cat. She's 23. Come on. Uh, no. Come on. Can't rush her. And she's taking her time, sniffing my cards. Spirit. Okay. Come on. And he's blind, so. No, he's not, Mom. He's pretty much blind. He's not blind. He, he's so. Oh, he's pretty much blind. So like you, Mom. Like me? <laughs> That's not very nice. That's not very nice. Let's talk about your mother like that. Right. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. And there you go. Okay. So, we got some slow moving energy for you guys, apparently. But slow and steady wins the race. Okay? That's for sure, Z's. So, gummy bears. Gummy bears. Wow, that flew out. Hello. That's like every reading right now. Six of fire, so you're moving. Some of you are legitimately taking a hot air balloon ride. Okay, which is slow moving. Okay, a hot air balloon does not move fast. All right, we got the four of pence holding on to something, someone, something. That's the five of pence, so actually you're holding on to something. Got the nine of air, and then you got the five of fire. The page of air. Wow, I'm doing these I'm doing these backwards, so it's throwing me off. I'm gonna have to move you because it's legitimately throwing me off. <sighs> Sorry, troops. <clears throat> I didn't realize something so little would throw me off. So let's get one more. And you got two. You got the two of fire and the seven of air. Uh, sorry, holy crap. Two of fire at the bottom of the deck. So, this is the two of air and the, two, and the seven of air. <sighs> Someone's watching. You're watching somebody. Some of you are calling on the divine, saying when, where, why. A lot of mental energy. You don't know whether or not to confront a situation. Whether or not to move forward in a situation. Um, Gemini, first two weeks of March, please. Acceptance. I'm learning to accept things that I cannot change. Okay. You got abundance at the bottom of the deck. So basically it's telling me you have to create what it is you're trying to... To me, you got to create whatever it is you're trying to get out of. So it's... Right now, somebody's not accepting. So this is like stalking. Because somebody got left out in the cold. Somebody got left out of a situation, you can't sleep, you're worried, you're waiting on this other person to make a decision, there seemed to have been some type of sabotage on your end or somebody else's end, and now you have a new path, and your new path, believe it or not, and it's not believe it or not, your new path is happiness, 
is you finding grounding? Is you finding somebody new? Okay. Things working out for you. A new love. Okay. Um, so, you know, this... You have to accept whatever happened, happened for a reason. And I know right now it's like not, nah, it's kind of unacceptable. Um, there was probably some type of deception somewhere. Um, for sure, there's there's no question that was some type of deception. Um, <clears throat> which is unfortunate. But this was somehow orchestrated and I hate to say stuff like that but this is legitimately the case for some of you guys because it's not where you were supposed to be you know um that's for sure and it looks like something possibly got taken uh, tell me about the six of fire so this is you moving away from this okay getting your happy back it, it could have been karmic it could have been third party Tell me about that. okay so there was options here um let's go this my deck sorry are we recording oh thank goodness <laughs> there was some type of Somebody had an option, someone strayed, there was competitive energy. It looks like there was probably a third party for some. Um, somebody else found they're happy with someone else, unfortunately, and therefore left somebody out, okay? Um, <clears throat> tell me about the five of earth. There was definitely a situation like that, okay? Um, four of wands reversed with the five of pence upright. So this was you know, it, it up and ruined your foundation. It, it, you know, I don't know if they paid the bills. Now you're going to worry about how you're going to pay bills, how you're going to ground yourselves again. I, I think some of you are waiting for this person to come back. You're stalking their social media. You're thinking they're going to make the right decisions. You're not sleeping. You know, when you do talk to them, you're arguing with them. Some of you are even arguing with the other person that got involved. But you gotta, you gotta find a way to let this go and accept what happened because they're putting you on a new path. There's no way you were happy. There was no way. I think some of you are legitimately waiting for a reconciliation, like a reunion, but I don't, I don't think so. Tell me about the nine of swords. Maybe for some, but that would be for very few. Okay. So it's time to go on a new path. This person is not even talking to you. You're not even communicating. So you're stressed out over somebody who's not even communicating with you. Tell me about the five of air. The Hierophant. So this somebody you were probably in a relationship with, okay? They were vulnerable. You were vulnerable. But you're arguing. Tell me about the page of air. No sound. So now somebody's watching you. Whoever left you is watching you or vice versa. Okay? Not healing. Stalking, not healing, wondering, should I invest time? Should I not invest time? So it's like you guys are still talking somewhat, okay? You got the two AA, you got the magician. To me, that's saying you want to create something, but there's no healing. There's still there's still blockage, okay? Um, or somebody's about to open up and say something. You got the high priestess reversed. The magician and the high priestess together, that's probably a secret. All right, right now you're trying to ground yourself is what you're doing. You're juggling. Someone's juggling two people. Tell me about the two of pens. You're going to get a message about something. Okay. Um, got the eight of wands. I don't know if somebody's ego is going to get in the way here. Okay, so there's one story. I, I think you're going to hear from this person. But you guys are just arguing. You're going to argue. Now, if I'm to look at it this way, 
karma is coming back around the corner. Whoever left you out or vice versa. Somebody's worried about how they're going to approach you. They've been watching you. They're about to make a decision. And if they don't, they're going to sabotage the situation themselves. Um, tell me about the five of earth. There's a path. There's a, a gateway that's open. There's too many. Five of earth. I didn't even know they still played this show. Seinfeld's on. You got the three of air. All right, so it's great sadness. You, you got to take the time and heal here. All right, <coughs> forgive yourself and others. So basically, I'm not going to get another story. I was hoping I would. So this is really important that you, you accept what's happening because something's happening for a reason because ultimately they want you on a new path. And I'm telling you that new path is going to bring the ton of water. So if this, if you guys already experienced all this, you have something great. You have this abundance waiting around the corner. Look at that. Two cards of abundance, both at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I'm telling you, as soon as you get on your path, no matter what situation you're in, you accept your past and you accept what happened and you forgive yourself or this other person and move forward with or without you have happiness. You have abundance. That's just waiting for you to grab it. Okay. Um, majority of you, it looks like you got to leave this situation. Okay. Because it, it's, it's great sadness. It's was not a good scenario that some of you found yourselves in. Okay. So let me just pull your best advice for the whole spread. the eight of fire events moving at fast speed delays are over things are about to happen and it's going to happen all at once and you got that eight of message but it was sitting on top of the eight of air so you're going to get a message like hey we're going to do this or we're not going to do this you know what i'm saying something's going to happen fast here something's going to come in and change and, and swoop swoop you up and take you in a new direction so let bygones be bygones okay it's important in order for you to move forward with or without okay um let's see what's at the bottom of that sack it's the sun okay so there's that ton of cups coming your way happy outcome brilliant ideas that will lead to success you have to have more confidence in yourself okay so you you do have something amazing coming your way for those who are already in this energy, something amazing is coming. For those who it hasn't hit, just remember within a couple weeks, something's going to switch quick. Quickly switch. Okay. I think there's a twin here because I just said the same thing opposite. So somebody's mirroring somebody. So this could be past tense. This could be all the drama that's about to unfold on why you guys weren't together. And then for others, it's just whatever situation ship you were in. But something's going to change quick. And it's going to bring happiness. Believe that. So please accept what's happening. Go in a, do a new direction. Okay. Because that abundance is legitimately right here waiting. Whatever this message is, is life-altering energy. I can feel it. And, and this was sitting on the seven of air. So even if it's a breakup, it's life-altering energy. Even if it's a makeup, it's still life-altering energy. Okay. Um, tell me about the eight of fire real quick. Eight of fire. Real quick. You know, poor, I can't help but to dig. Queen of cups. Okay. So it looks like she's going to get a message or deliver a message. It looks like it's going... Looks like it's probably going to her. I'm not quite sure. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or something's completely over. Okay. Or it could be a renewal. It could be a resurrection. It really just depends. Okay. Um, events are going to happen real quick though. 
It looks like they're going to happen for the Queen of Cups. So you could be a Cappy. And it's going to be very emotional. Um, dang it. Tell me about this death card. To me, it's Cappy energy. Something that was once dead for some is getting resurrected. All right. You're going to feel restricted. That's too many. Ten of Cups popped out though. So I think once you once you let go of that restriction, once you let go of the sleepless nights, once you let, let go of something, it, it's all it's gonna tell me. It's not gonna let me dig, guys. It's telling me to wrap it up. Okay. So I did my best. It was still it's still a beautiful message. But as soon as you let go of whatever restriction you're holding on to, here's your happy days. They, they're, I mean, hello. You think they can stress that any more for you? I, I mean, they could, but I'm letting it go. Okay. I love you guys. Yeah, not to mention they gave you that one, <laughs> the sun. All right. So I love you guys. Hang in there, and congratulations because you do have something beautiful coming and it's going to come a lot quicker than you think it is. Bye guys.